What's up guys, this is Liberty Tech here, back with another video. I'm here to give you a quick overview or a quick video on what's on my iPhone 7 Plus. Quick background, the reason why I didn't put up this video earlier is because um, I went to exchange for a higher uh, capacity iPhone 7 Plus. I originally had the 32, but luckily Apple was able to help me out and get me a 128. So, here we go. Uh, this is what's on my 7 Plus. So again, uh, guys, if you see anything that you recommend me, uh, just leave a comment down below. But let's quickly get into the video. So on my front screen here, I have the typical apps, standard apps, maps, uh, camera, calendar, calculator, etc., etc. Um, what I do is have a Twitter folder, which should be changed to social media, because that's where all my social media stuff will go into. Um, I only use two Twitter apps, which is Tweetbot. Uh, three and Twitter. Now, the reason why I didn't upgrade to Tweetbot, Tweetbot 4 is because I don't think you should charge to upgrade every time you come out with a new Twitter app. That's just me. Um, I also have Facebook, which a lot of people use, Instagram, YouTube, and Studio. If you're a YouTube content creator, most majority of you guys will have Studio. It's a very great app to have. Um, it shows you analytics. Uh, how much subscribers you you gained, lost, etc. Uh, how much income you have received, and it's just a very straightforward app, and it's also a good way to communicate with your subscribers. Uh, easy postings. Uh, going on, we have music. Not so much going on in there. We have music, Shazam, uh, Google, and of course settings. On my other page, I have um, basically majority of my apps on here. I have extras, which is basically most of the stuff I don't really use. Um, from time to time, I would use Watch. If you have Apple Watch, of course, and Google Maps sometimes. Uh, Adam is a pretty cool, cool app. Back when uh, they were doing a promotion, and what, what would you do is um, you would sign up and you get a, one free movie ticket, so that's why I have it on there. But unfortunately, they don't have that promotion anymore, but it's a good app. Uh, to check out movies and stuff. Uh, moving on, I have my Bible, games. I don't have too many, but again, if you recommend any games for me, just leave a comment down below. Um, right now, my number one game is Clash of Clans. Uh, cricket is somewhat of a game. It's kind of like gambling, um, but the good thing is you don't lose money. You just gain money by uh, spinning the wheel, and whatever you get is what you keep. The um, only catch is you have to use pay, use PayPal to cash out and of course the standard cashing out is a twenty dollars or more so basically what you do is you get spins and um, you just keep uh, you can get anywhere from fifty cents ten cents five cents to even a thousand dollars so it's a pretty cool app go check that out if you're interested I have uh, Block City Wars which is kinda like Minecraft meet GTA um, I don't play too often but it's pretty neat uh, Snakes on a Ladder, that's an old school game. And um, this is basically a, a twist of it in 3D. Uh, Pokemon Go, which about 80 to 90% of iPhone users have. Uh, Asphalt 8, great, beautiful racing game. Angry Birds, everyone knows what that is. The score in the wrong folder. CSR 2, pretty cool uh, racing game. And the latest game I've downloaded is um, Forge of Empire. Going on to entertainment, not much to going on there. I have Netflix, uh, Wallpapers, Fandango, uh, don't know how to say it, Duolingo, which is basically you can learn uh, other languages. Uh, no Man's uh, Picks, basically um, Wallpapers for No Man's Sky. Moving on, we have Utility, another pile of stuff that I don't really use. Um, I have My Carfax, which comes in handy if you have a recall on your car or if you need an oil change. T-Mobile, I'm a T-Mobile customer, T-Mobile Tuesdays, offers you free stuff. Um, they're not all that great, but who can complain about free stuff? Speed test, uh, Karma, Credit Karma, Fast is another speed test alternate. Um, Best Buy, Tacket, uh, Live Cam Pro, which I use to watch my apartment from time to time. Olympics, which I need to remove because Olympics is over. Domino's, Apps, Apple Store. Amazon, UPS, which I use for tracking packages, and Swarm, which I use for checking in. And what else in here? That's about it. 
Going on to photos, if you're a photographer and you love using the camera on the iPhone, these are the apps that you must have. Um, if you have anything that you recommend to me, again, leave it down below, comment down below. I have Luxury, Snapseed, which I use the most. Google Photos is great if you want to back up your photos. It's, I believe, unlimited. Uh, Pris Prisma, Repost, um, is usually essentially used for Instagram, which is great. Um, Pick Stitch is basically um, a collage. You can uh, stitch the photos, any photos together. It's pretty neat. Quick and Over, basically the same app, but um, one offers more. But I use both of them just in case, you know, because they're just there. But they do offer basically um, putting text over your, your video or uh, image, basically your images. And then I have Photoshop Mix, which is a small, like Adobe Photoshop. It's pretty cool. You can work with layers and add uh, pictures and other pictures, etc., etc. Moving on to business, not much here. eBay, if you're an eBay seller and an Amazon seller, uh, pretty straightforward. Remote TV, the, this is the, for the Apple 4th Gen TV, the new remote app. And, um, oh, I forgot, uh, Geekbench 3. I do have Geekbench 4, but I haven't installed it on here. And this is when I want to travel. I want to see the best hotel prices and, of course, discounts on going out to eat, uh, rides, movies, etc. is what you use Groupon for. Check it out. It's a great app. Um, and Pinterest, which I just recently signed up for. I don't really use it too much. But yeah, and I have Google+, Plus, another platform I don't use too much, but it should be in the social media uh, folder. Uh, as well as finance, you know, I don't have too much going on here either. Just my banking and mint bills, which um, tries to keep you financially stable and um, watch what you're spending, etc. So, and then social, uh, gram, which is basically Instagram, um, third-party add-ons. I use InstaQuote um, to type in words or type in quotes I want to use and just post it straight to Instagram or other social media um, sites. And uh, the same thing for goes for instant message. Same thing. It just offers more different backgrounds and other features. And of course, at the bottom, I have uh, phone, Safari, mail, and messages. I don't like to have too many windows or too many home screens, so I just limit it down to three. But essentially, I'm just uh, just going to have to move these three over to the second page. So I'll basically, at the end of the day, I only have two pages. That's it, guys. Thank you for watching what's on my iPhone 7 Plus. Um, again, if there's any apps you recommend, um, just leave a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. I will have uh, more giveaways coming up. So stay tuned for those. Peace out.